Welcome and good evening everyone on my Arvind Geography Words YouTube channel. Dear friends, today we are going to cover important topic that is earth crust. We have already covered part first in which we have covered the basic concepts that is primary, secondary and low waves. What are the basic concepts regarding the structure of internal structure of the earth. So today we are going to deal with a new important topic that is in the internal structure of earth basically we have three parts that is crust, mantle and core. So today we will start with the crust. Okay. So the first question arises what is crust? Crust is the outermost layer of the earth surface. This outermost layer of the earth surface is called crust. Okay. So when we talk about suppose this to be the earth then the outermost surface of the earth surface it is called crust. Below this lies mantle and again the core. Clear? This is this is crust, outermost surface, this is mantle, and the last one is the core. Okay. Crust, it is considered to be the lithosphere, means the part made up of rock. Means the part the earth surface on which we are standing, this is uh, lithosphere means it is made up of the rock. So, crust basically it is the lithospheric part of the earth. It comprises only 1% of the total earth mass. In pure earth mass ka ye sirf 1% hai. But when we talk about its importance, it holds 100% of the earth living organism. Means jitne bhi living organism hai, wo kis pe survive kar rahe hai? Is crust pe in outer most layer pe. पूरे मास में अगर हम बात करें तो अर्थ सरफेस का पूरे अर्थ के मास का ये सिर्फ 1% है कितना परसेंट है 1% इट्स एवरेज थिकनेस इज 24 किलोमीटर एवरेज की बात करें माउंटेन और ओशियन फ्लोर दोनों का अगर हम एक साथ पूरे अर्थ सरफेस की के को कवर करें सो इट कवर्स 24 किलोमीटर एवरेज थिकनेस इज 24 किलोमीटर बट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट द ओशियन सपोज सपोज दिस टू बी द माउंटेन ओके and this is the oceanic part part which is suppose this to be the ocean ok means suppose if you have taken this the ocean and this is the mountain ok so the part which the depth which is below the ocean it is nearly 5 kilometers 5 kilometers yani ocean ke niche iski jo motai hoti hai iski jo thickness hai that is 5 kilometers that is 5 km done thickness of crust below the ocean is 5 km below the continent is 30 km continent ka matlab agar normal hum zameen ki baat kare theek hai na jaise maan lo suppose par yahan se bhi zameen start ho gaya okay this is ocean so 5 km now when we talk about the thickness below the continent it is it is nearly 30 km yani continent ocean ke comparison mein height zyada hai otherwise it will fall down continent will height is 30 ocean floor will fall down it is nearly 5 km and when we talk about the mountains mountains will fall down so their height counts for nearly 40 to 60 km how much? 40 to 60 km that depends upon the height of the mountain means mountains ke niche thickness if we talk about the thickness of the crust that is 40 to 60 km below the continent it is nearly 30 km and below the ocean it is nearly 5 km. So, this height should be clear. Okay. I am writing here you see it is continent, it is 30 km, ocean, it is 5 km, and below mountains, it is 40 to 60 km. So, this is the thickness of the earth crust. What is this? This is the thickness of the earth crust. This is thickness. This is thickness of the earth crust. I hope this is clear. So see here I have written uh, density of various layers. For example, suppose if the density of the earth crust outermost layer is considered to be 6.1. Okay, just the upper part of the crust 6.1, lower part that is 7.8 and the boundary. This is the boundary between the, suppose this to be the boundary between the crust and the mantle. 
so mental here density of this mental part is 7.8 whereas when you talk about the density sorry this crust is 7.8 when you talk about the mantle is 8.1 so you will find a uh, variation between the uh, in the densities between crust and mantle what we see we are going to see is that density of mantle is more in comparison to the crust okay so now when we talk about the primary waves you remember the seismic waves which you have talked in the previous classes primary waves when it when, when it enters from the crust into the mantle its speed decreases its speed decreases why because when we move from the crust towards the core suppose this is the crust and this is the core and when you are moving from the crust towards the core means from the outer surface towards the center of the core of the earth the density increases so what will happen when density will increase obviously the speed of the primary rays will decrease primary waves will decrease so this variation or discontinuity basically this discontinuity is referred to as a mohos discontinuity okay because of the variation in the density okay primary waves basically they they are speed decreases it varies for example if suppose when this wave come from crust towards the mantle then this its speed will decrease when it goes from mantle towards the crust its speed there also it gets varied means it increases changes or discontinuity in the speed because of variation of the density is called more weak discontinuity and it is found between crust and the mantle i hope this is clear okay when we talk about the crust basically crust it is made up of sedimentary granite and basaltic rock it is made up of sedimentary sedimentary granite and basaltic rock see these two parts form the layer of the continent and this form the bottom of ocean okay this form layer of the ocean means crust mein three rocks milenge sedimentary granite or basalt okay जो कॉन्टिनेंटल पार्ट है ना इसके नीचे मिलेगा आपको सेडिमेंटरी या ग्रेनाइट और ओशियानिक के नीचे आपको मिलेगा कौन सा बेसैंडिक सबसे खास जो इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन पूछता है क्रस्ट क्रस्ट मैक्सिमम हैज ऑक्सीजन इट सबसे ज्यादा क्रस्ट के अंदर क्या होता है ऑक्सीजन जो यूपीएससी वगैरह का फेवरेट क्वेश्चन है ऑक्सीजन इज प्रेजेंट मैक्सिमम इन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग लेयर्स क्रस्ट मेंटल और को सो आंसर विल बी क्रस्ट आई होप दिस इज क्लियर ओके ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस it edward swiss gave three different names for example you see as edward swiss classified this crust into two different parts he classified the upper part as cl and lower part as c1 okay cl it consists of basically silica silica and aluminium whereas sima consists of silica and magnesium okay so it may be asked for you to write the full form of cl and sima cl since aluminium is the lightest metal question hoga which is the most abundant or which is the lightest metal you will say aluminium which gas is maximum that will be oxygen so see this is lightest metal so it forms continent whereas this is heavy in comparison to the aluminium magnesium so it form the ocean floor you see continents basically these are made up of cl silica and aluminium why because aluminium is the lightest metal next when we talk about the ocean floor it is made up of sima silicon and magnesium i hope this is also clear temperature when we talk about the upper part it is estimated to be 0 degree it is taken as 0 but when we move from the crust towards the core towards the center of the earth its temperature continuously decreases 
core temperature of core is nearly 4400 to 6000 degrees Celsius. This is very high, nearly upper part of the sun. Okay. When you talk about the pressure, when you talk about the pressure, pressure also continuously decreases as you move from the crust towards the core. Yani, a crust se core ki taraf ja raha ho, temperature bhi badega, pressure bhi badega, density bhi badega, sab kuch badega. Okay. Agar maat kare, pressure kaise bada raha hai, to jo upper line rocks hai, upper jo rocks hai na, inki wajay se dab raha hai, ye rocks hai, maan lai rocks, jo hum yaan khade hai, we will exert pressure ye, to rocks ki wajay se dab raha hai, pressure bada gaya, temperature, temperature it is already maintained there, temperature is nearly 44 to 6, 1000 degrees Celsius, 4400 to 6000, वहाँ अभी भी nuclear reactions, nuclear reactions चल रहे हैं, asthenosphere, which is a bad conductor of heat, asthenosphere ने जो core part है अर्थ का, उसका temperature आज तक maintain करके रखा है, insulate करके रखा है, okay, asthenosphere layer that neither allows heat to escape out nor enter, this is why earth core is still hot till today, यानि आज तक उतना साल हो गया अर्थ को बने लेकिन फिर भी जो कोर पार्ट है सेंट्रल पार्ट है उसका गर्म होने का रीजन क्या है ये जो टेक्टोनिक प्लेट्स यानी जो एस्थोनोस्फीयर का जो लेयर है वही वो ना हीट को अंदर जाने देता है ना बाहर आने देता है ओके सो आई होप दिस वाज ऑल बेसिक अबाउट व्हाट वी टॉक अबाउट द क्रस्ट विल कंटिन्यू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक नेक्स्ट डे